Oh my God. I don't think I've ever been this hungover in my whole entire life. I've actually woken up with a broken finger. I think that white line might be my bone. But before I eat my hangover food, I need loads of drinks and a few pe- My God, Corey. It's a never ending cycle with this man. Every single video almost seems like this guy is starting it off with, Oh my God, guys, I've done it again. I've drunk too much. I'm totally hungover and Leah's on the floor. I don't even know what happened last night, but there's only one thing I'm worried about right now, and that's getting a burger. Getting a big fat burger from Mackey's. Oh my god, I've got to get on a roll because it's so good. I need more food to remedy the hungoverness. Every single time, man. I don't know any other person that has a more severe drinking problem than Corey's world. I've never seen somebody drink as much as he does and then brag about it too as well. Him and Corey. And I guess, you know, um, sorry, Corey and Leah and then also Sherry Ann. They all have drinking problems. I hope that since they've been hanging out with Becky, that Becky doesn't also adopt the poor drinking habits of these people because they are nothing but nothing but terribleness for these people, man. I don't know if in the UK you just got a, like a weird culture of people just drinking copious amounts of alcohol or maybe it's just Corey, but his alcohol consumption is insane. And also, we're not even touching on how many calories each one of those drinks is actually like in his body. How many how many how many meals he's drinking away just from the alcohol. But we're going to go over it today, guys. We're going to see what Corey world, Corey's world's been up to, um, see how flavored up he's been, how much uh, alcohol he's been drinking recently. Let's <laughs> let's get into it. Might be my bone, but before I eat my hangover food, I need loads of drinks and a few painkillers. At is least he got some water. I'll give him that. It's it's not the worst. Um, Taco Bell, though, or whatever this is, it's not the best. The second time I've broke my bone this year. I also think that... Somebody can let me know down below, but when you drink a lot of alcohol and you wake up the next day and you're like super monstrously hungover or whatever, uh, people have told me that eating copious amounts of food right after that is probably not good because your stomach is still in terrible condition. So eating food right after all of that would probably make it even worse, especially greasy, like carbohydrated ass foods. Um, people just tell me it's probably better to drink a little bit of water, drink something, eat something very, very simple and not eat Taco Bell or whatever this is so consistently. But you guys can let me down, know down below. I, I'm not familiar with this. I don't drink personally, so I don't know to what degree that's correct. Um, but he tends to eat a lot. Like, even on the days where he's, like, completely busted and he broke my pinky, he still manages to eat tons and tons and tons of food. And it seems like he just sets himself up for failure. He knows that he's going to eat tons and tons of food the next day uh, because he does it every day. So there's almost no reason not to eat all this food. But anyway. After a night out, the last time was my rib. Doritos and cheese dip is diabolical. Oops. I don't know what happened last night, but I was like Bambi on ice. I could just about walk. Damn, dude. Putting the finger in the mouth is kind of insane. You could tell that. You can tell Sherry Ann's definitely hungover, given the fact that she's wearing these giant B-girl glasses. I was watching Corey's World the other night, and Corey's World has got to be the most zesty man I've ever seen in my life. I thought for a long time Corey was gay. I thought he was a gay man because I kind of think that most UK dudes are just kind of a little bit homosexual in my opinion. Not all of them, but a lot of them I see, I just kind of think... He's gay a little bit, right? Like, he's got to be, he's he's, te he's tested some things out. He's done some things. He's experimented a little bit. Um, but last night, Corey has this issue uh, where he buys platform Converse. Now, platform Converse are fine. I don't, I don't care that you're wearing platform Converse. Usually, though, I want everybody to do this. I want you to go on Google, and I want you to type in platform Converse, and I want you to tell me how long it takes you to find a man wearing platform Converse when you go down on the Google image results. You don't find it. You do not find it. Men do not wear platform Converse. They are 100% a zesty shoe. Women wear them. It's a trend right now for women to wear platform Converse. So whenever I see a man wearing platform Converse, I'm always thinking like, a dude wearing these shoes? You, you're basically telling me you're gay. You, you, you're choreographing it. You're saying it without saying it, right? Am I wrong? And also, 
the way Corey dresses, the way that he wears his hair. I don't know, man. I, if he's not gay, that would be an anomaly to me. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't know what happened last night, but I was like Bambi on ice. I could just about walk, but we've ordered a Taco Bell and that's made Oh, it me was Taco Bell. Damn, that shit looked terrible though. It feels slightly more human, but it didn't really touch the sides. So Becky getting an ice cream, of course, starting your day with that ice cream. For lunch, we've come to Pizza Express. That woman literally has an entire pizza just to herself. What? What kind of diabolicalness is this, bro? What kind of restaurant do you just have an entire pizza to yourself? Who is this big ass woman, dude? God damn. Show some restraint. Brass, this is Jess and Chris. They're our best friends from back at home, but they're not often in our TikToks. I've never been to Pizza Express before, but I went for a it's mac and cheese me. with dough balls. The mac and cheese. Are we sure we should? Oh, you actually did break your pinky. I thought he was just joking about that. No, he actually did break his pinky. Uh, this should be a wake-up call, in my opinion. If you're so drunk, if you're so busted that you fall over and break your bones, you probably have an issue, right? There's probably some kind of problem there. Am I wrong in saying that? Usually, people don't break bones very often, and this guy breaking two bones in a year, that's not good, even if it is a pinky. Pinky is like the most pussy of all the fingers, to be honest. Not many people have uses for it. I don't know. What do you even use your pinky for? The only time I've ever heard somebody say they have a pinky is when they have like cocaine. They grow out the fingernail to like dip it in there and do that, I guess. But even then, you're really reaching. I guess like, you know, they say two in the, two in the pink, one in the stink. I guess that too. But then again, who the fuck is doing that shit? What is this like technique, this, fitting, this hidden technique or whatever it's called? I don't know, bro. Regardless, uh, breaking your pinky, even though your pinky is not optimal, it's kind of like your nipples for men. Um, if I was on a desert, like I've, I've had this question asked me before, if you were on a desert island and you were starving to death, what part of your body would you eat first? My nipples. I have no use for them. They're completely irrelevant. I've had many women try to suckle upon my nipples for the sensation of feeling. I get nothing. Absolutely nothing. If your tongue is placed upon my nipples and you think that I'm going to feel anything other than just wetness and discomfort, that's it. That's all I'm feeling. So I'm, I'm probably eating them first if if I had to. If I had to, I obviously don't want to eat anything on my body because I think it would be counterproductive. But I would eat my nipples because they're irrelevant. I don't care about my fucking nipples, bro. They're, they're, they shouldn't even be there, to be honest. Like, whatever, bro. I, I never cared about my nipples at all. And most dudes, in my opinion... Um, don't have any sensation there either. So if you're ever thinking that you're going to suck on your boyfriend's nipples for like some kind of sexual gratification for him, he's not feeling anything for the most part. And if he does, might be a little gay. But uh, anyway. This was proper. Cheesy. I also had a brownie for dessert because I mean. Brownie? That's a brownie? What kind of brownie was that? Like a cheese brownie? The mac and cheese was proper. How is this a brownie? Aren't brownies supposed to be brown? Why this looks like an egg that they just scooped out like the the yolk on the inside and they just put cheese. Whatever, bro. Cheesy. I also had a brownie for dessert because I needed something sweet. Wait, oh, that wasn't the brownie. Okay, then what the fuck was that thing? Staying in Manchester an extra night. So if there's anywhere we need to go for food tomorrow before it's a good, it's a cool group of friends. It's kind of a mismatch a little bit. The island of misfit toys a little bit. Um, I know this guy is gay. I know this guy is gay. Uh, but everybody else, it just kind of seems like when I remember when I was going to high school, there was a bunch of guys that I just kind of knew were gay because they would never hang out with the dudes and they was always hanging out with the girls, which is nothing wrong with that inherently. Like it's fine if you have girls that are friends, but I knew that they were gay because it was just too frequent that they would hang out with these people and a way they interacted with them and all like, there was no, there was no like. There was no romantic nature involved, and they never could communicate with the guys because I guess most of the guys were just talking about how big their penis was, their penises were, or um, if they could one v one you on Rust. Before we leave, please let me. This guy might not be gay. This guy might not be gay, but it also kind of looks like he has a different flavor of beard in comparison to his hair. So it's kind of weird. Like it's a lighter shade. Like it almost kind of seems like they just painted this one on. A little bit. You know what I'm talking about? No, in the comments. We've met up with the whole gang for tea tonight. We've come to Tops, which is an all-around-the-world buffet, and they do everything Going here. Going to a buffet, man, is kind of risky, especially knowing that you got Becky Jones with you, dude. You're setting her up for failure, man. You're supposed to be a good friend. You know that Becky Jones has issue with overconsumption. Why would you take her to a buffet? Or, I guess, a buffet, whatever he said. Yeah, I had nine plates of food. Nah, yeah, dude. Listen, man, okay? We need to we need to have an intervention, dude. Nine plates. How many is that again? One, two, nine, nine plates. You don't give a fuck about yourself at all. Nine, bro. Jesus, man. What is the goal right now? Like, what is the goal in the life? 
just get blackout drunk every single night, breaking shit on your body, waking up the next day, body slamming copious amounts of food just to do it all over again? Suck the plates at an Indonesian buffet, bro? You might as well go behind the counter and lick the nutsack of the guy cooking the food. That would be way better, way more nutritious than whatever the fuck you're doing, bro. I'm judging you. <laughs> I'm 100% judging you, bro. Your moral foundation is flawed. Just about halfway through TI did have to crusty bro you got some crusty ass busted ass rice that shit dry as fuck and i'm looking at whatever this is what is that a bone somebody just leave a bone in here you got some crusty ass rice and some crusty ass chicken man don't throw up we had indian i had to cook dinner and it looks that looks too wet the Chinese on one plate at one point, and the dessert section here is huge. They have every cake you can think of, and even a chocolate fountain. Now this is what dreams are made of. Although the hangover is really... <sighs> a chocolate fountain, huh, bro? I didn't even know they had these, man. He really came over here to get a chocolate fountain. Okay, bro. I'm not even... I can't be mad Bad at right it. now. It was so weird. That's... <laughs> Um, that's kind of crazy, bro. That's kind of crazy, dude. You, you, you can dip your food in it. To dip your plate in, in the chocolate fountain, you're going a little bit overboard, bro. I think you might have took advantage of this a little bit too much. Good lord, Corey. Dipping a plate in a chocolate fountain is crazy. If it, in case you've been living under a rock, we went to Charlie and Grace. Did, did nobody else have a problem with that? Like, none of the dudes behind the counter was like, yo, Corey just literally dipped his entire plate in our chocolate fountain. What are we doing about that? Just, like, let him do it, bro, so that way he'll leave faster. He already literally bodied nine plates, which is enough for, like, three people. Pink fake tan law. Lunch party. And it was so good. They've been celebrating that, that fake pink tan thing for literally... A week straight at this point. How much more do we celebrate it? It's been launch day literally every single day. We had the best night ever, but it's time for some hangover snacks and an early night for me. What do you mean a hangover snack? It's been it's been hours, bro. You went through your entire day and you're still celebrating a hangover snack, bro? So you go to Tesco? Bro, you got too many opportunities. What are you doing, man? What do you get lining yourself up for the next day so you can drink even more and then do it all over again? What is your life? Do you have any responsibilities at all? Like, there's nobody in your life that's concerned at the at the sheer amount of alcohol that you're consuming in a day, the amount of calories you're stuffing in your mouth. How is the inside of your mouth even not coated in a permanent slick of grease and, and, and animal fats, bro? This is unsanitary behavior. You're literally disrespecting your mouth on a daily basis and you're just like, you just don't care. I don't know much about politics and I don't know much about the Prime Minister, but I can officially say I'm an expert at the Prime Minister. I've wanted to come here for the longest time and today I've dragged the gang. Who at all the pies? We did. For starters, we shared halloumi bites, pork scratchings, and Christmas cocktail sausages. I don't really- Starters is crazy, bro. At least I see now why these people have such an addiction to their food and stuff like that. I mean, these people have fun lives. They seem like good people to hang out with. But uh, I'm actually really concerned with this random hole in the wall over here. Uh, is nobody else gonna? Con is nobody else concerned that randomly a penis will come through that? No, just me. Maybe I'm just weird. But it would be very uncomfortable, and obviously I wouldn't fit in that. It's way too small. But I see so many people when they go out to eat, they do get the starters, which are appetizers for most people, and they also get desserts every single time. And they always drink copious amounts of alcohol while they're consuming their ginormity amounts of food. The poor. Greasy foods, too, as well. Always deep fried. Everything they order is always brown. Because I'm not into cannibalism, but these pork scratchings were lush. Becky and Charlie got... Yeah, but, so if you guys don't know, Becky Jones... Eat pork, because I'm not into cannibalism, but these pork... Becky Jones really fucked up on her tanner. Uh... <sighs> I don't know who convinced Becky to do these tanning sessions, dude. Becky's never been the girl that really tans, and if she has tanned, it's very it's been very, very light, but she fucked up pretty bad on her hand. And it's been I don't know, brown for like the past five or six days since I've been watching her. Uh, she's been complaining about it. She said it burned. She said that she tried to wash it off, it won't wash off. So now, since Becky Jones's hands are so brown, I have a question for all the POCs in the comment section. Can she say the N-word in sign language? Can she sound it out with her hands and it would be okay? Because she technically has a lot of melanin right now in her hand. Now, granted, it's not real melanin. It's the illusion of melanin, but it's still kind of dark, right? 
if a let's be honest here for a second if the real percentage of a person that can say the n-word is based off the melanin capacity what do you say about albino black guys huh those guys are the whitest of the white they have like zero melanin in their entire body and becky is at least default melanin for a white person and her hands are black, so let me know how that works out exactly. Well, lush. Becky and Charlie gobbled and swallowed all the sausages. Oh, no, calm down, Corey. What you doing? Time for the main event. I went for. Ugh. What is this brown stuff on the top? A whole bunch of rat poop. The moo pie, a steak and ale with Damn. cheesy mash, extra cheese, Damn. and crispy onions. And look at that gravy pour. Oh my god. The smell in here is incredible. I actually can't wait to dig in. Becky went for a chicken and bacon pie with mushy peas. I went for steak and blue cheese. Everything's just brown. The whole thing, everything they eat is just serious colors of brown. Just Neapolitan. That should be how they define their foods. What did I eat today? Brown. Charlie had the same as me, copycat. Now let's give it a taste test. Holy spirit, activate. The Fuji is 10 out of 10. The pie was so juicy and succulent. The mash was so creamy. And I could literally bath in the Come gravy. On, bro. I Everyone loved their meal. I, don't I, I really doubt anytime these people eat anything in general because I don't think they have many taste buds left in their mouth to really process the amount of foods that they have. So I think most of the time they're just really more or less just tasting what they already eat in general and i believe their taste buds are completely obliterated gone hiroshima nuked just completely evaporated off their tongue because they eat too frequently to register as much as they do and i know this for a fact because let's let's look at it like this right when you eat frequently you don't really it doesn't really matter but when you eat uh, when you eat irregularly, right, like you eat three times a day, at least then you can fully register. When you get an ice cream every week, you can fully feel the flavors of that ice cream. But when you eat it every day, suddenly it's no special thing. Uh, it's like eating Thanksgiving dinner every single day. And then when Thanksgiving comes and you're eating Thanksgiving dinner again, it's not special anymore because you're doing it every single day. Um, it's like having your girlfriend eat your ass out. Like if you're doing it once every month because she's really into it and you're not really into it but you're trying to appease her then it's special but if your girlfriend's eating your ass every single day then it's not very special at all is it it's just a normal activity that you guys contribute to don't know if they have more of these shops outside of manchester but if they do you need to go with stunning why in a day going to money i had an iced coffee vanilla syrup a decaf of course because i've cut out tuna that's not right dude no way no way we did corn and tuna, dude. What are we doing here? Why? Why a can of corn and tuna? Such a weird, such a weird combination, bro. What is this duo I'm seeing? Oh, caffeine. Anything to stop me from being an anxiety queen. I was packing, so all I had time for- Oh, in a sa- I mean, obviously, you gotta get the macaes. You gotta get the macaes. Let me see what you got here. Uh, no bag, even though I'm seeing- Oh, my bad. One no bag. Two Big Macs. Damn, extra pickles and extra lettuce. Uh, one five-piece nugget, two large fry, and two Coke Zeros. Damn, no dip. That's crazy. Two Big Macs? Damn. Well, for lunch was a quick tuna sandwich. And then we're going on a bestie road trip. It's only right that you go to Mackey's before a road trip. Damn, two, bro, two Big Macs and a six-piece, bro, with a large fry? You kind of going crazy, Sherry Ann. You got to calm down a little bit. Like, I like Mickey D's as much as the next person. And I do. You know what? I had somebody the other day tell me that Mickey D's has a very superior breakfast, okay? I'm going to call you out on this shit. I've been to Mickey D's breakfast a few times. They do got some things that are okay sometimes. It just depends on when you go and what restaurant you're going to. I go to the ones in the hood, so they don't really serve the best stuff. But I remember one time I was with my friend. And we were going to McDonald's early in the morning. This was way back in the day when I was still in high school, right? And this dude showed up and he was like, you know what, David, we're already late. Let's go to Mickey D's. Let's go get the breakfast. Fuck it. So we went to the Mickey D's and this man ordered, I think he had ordered two pancakes and some sausages, right? And uh, that's all he could afford. Yeah, there was no water on the side, right? That was all he got. And he sat down and he got that shit. And then he realized in the, in the bag, there was no syrup. So he walked up to the front. He said, hey, listen, there's no syrup. And then she said, well, we're out of syrup. And I was thinking, why the fuck would you let this man order pancakes pancakes, and sausages if there was no syrup left, right? But regardless of that, it is pretty fucked up. I don't know what the fuck you're thinking. I've been to that restaurant too before, and I remember I ordered four coffees one time. And when I ordered the four coffees, this dude laid it out for me. He's like, here you go. And I was like, oh, yeah, um, can I get a container? Can I get like a tray? And he's like, oh, uh, we don't have any more. And I'm just looking at this guy like, bro, I'm the only person here. You do understand I don't have four, I don't have four arms, right? 
Like, I'm not that Mortal Kombat guy. I don't have the four arms to hold this shit up. How the fuck am I going to walk out of here with four cups of coffee when you saw me coming in one person deep, bro? And you don't got you don't got trays? You better fucking buy the fucking tray. Can I hire somebody to, to export these with me? Like, it should be common. It, you, you guys should have knew. You guys should have fucking knew better. But anyway, he ordered the, this McDonald's breakfast. And no syrup. And that shit was dry. This man literally was sitting there trying to cut into the pancakes and them shits was flaked. Them shits was like rubber, bro. And he couldn't even cut into it with the plastic knife they gave him. So he had to just single-handedly put his shit in there. The fork couldn't penetrate it. So he just picked it up and just basically just uh, put it in his mouth so he can eat it all. He said that shit was dry. He said that shit was terrible in his mouth. Um, never going back and getting breakfast after that. After that, can't go back. But uh, anyway, if you think the McDonald's breakfast is good, I mean, that's like your opinion, man, but it's not, so. I never used to be a Fry's girly at Mackey's, but I'm obsessed. I mean how, how have you not been a Fry girly at McDonald's? Isn't that like the number one thing that everybody recommends getting from McDonald's? Like first and foremost is the fries. It, they're good if you just get them. Obviously, you don't waste. Damn, bro, to have the McDonald's fries on the, on the dash like this is diabolical. Me and Lily got a Big Mac, extra cheese, extra pickles. Damn. Absolutely gorgeous. Damn. I also got six nugs. Ooh. I was so excited to see there was no circle shapes. I don't know what it is about circle shapes, but they make me feel really uneasy. Quick survey stop. Grab myself a crunchy. Crunchies are like my all-time favorite. I have n it's been so long since I met anybody or saw anybody actually go to a convenience store and buy a candy bar. I've never seen that. I've seen people buy packs of candy bars uh for like halloween or other occasions and things like that and maybe you get a few off the fridge i've seen that but i've never seen somebody go into a store and just buy a solid candy bar that's actually crazy chocolate bar then we got to the trophy we're actually so excited because guess who we're reuniting with the one and only becky jones she's on the go oh we have missed her as we not and you got a cake it looks like becky had a little something extra on the side there bro Look like Becky put a little bit of mouth to cake a little bit, huh? I had saw in the comment section of this video that people were asking Becky if she was willing to fart on the cake or if she was willing to sit on the cake and then send out pieces of the cake to the fan base because that's apparently what people want. Um, now, I think that's pretty crazy to even ask for uh, because obviously I feel like I should be receiving some of that cake as well. If that's anything that's ever going to happen, I, I would love to receive some of that. Um, just for research purposes, I'm such a Becky Jones fan personally, but there are a lot of down bad people in the comment section for Becky Jones, which I had not even realized the amount of people that actually, I guess, want Becky in that particular way, which is crazy as hell. But uh, yeah, you know what, Becky, if you're down for it, dude, I fully, I think that you, if that's what you want to do, that's awesome. A whole week since we've seen her last and she's got me a congrats. That's cheese dip damn bro you guys eat out literally every sec every second of the day is there no opportunity for you guys to like pack foods congratulations cake i can't i'm gonna cry we're in manny to celebrate the launch of my new pink fake tan and we've got the event in two days i am so excited when in manny you've got to get an art cheese mac and cheese bites chicken wrap and crinkle fries you Don't just ate that earlier today though right didn't you literally eat chicken nuggets and fries earlier today why do you need even more and Becky said that the Coronation Street Studios is only like 20 minutes down the road. We haven't got no tickets, but we are definitely going to come back and do the experience properly. Damn. But it was nice just to see the outside buildings, to be fair. We've come for a sit-down in Costa. The Damn. weather's quite cold today. I went for this Terry chocolate orange muffin. It was very dry. And we've just checked into our hotel room at the... <laughs> it's a muffin, bro. What do you want, man? Have a lodge. Come on, bro. snacks while we waited for our takeaway. You I... know what else is dry? Your liver, dude. Uh, after all the shit you've been doing to it, man, all the alcohol consumption, dude, your liver is literally crazy crying right now where's the water where's the liquidization man your liver is literally out here on a daily basis trying to cry but it can't because it can't find the water in your body to saturate it i ordered a bar burrito because i've never God tried one before damn. But the girls fancied a kebab i went for a beef burrito Ooh. a chicken burrito and two packs of doritos damn bro you going crazy Corey? what the fuck this burrito was insane, and the girls' kebabs look bad. Oh my god, what are these serving sizes, bro? Trays? These are the shits you see at, like, the, the, if you ever go to a black barbecue, this is what they serve their food in, these big tinfoil trays. These are, these are supposed to be, like, for people to come over and grab something out of it to then eat on their plate. Not the plate itself. In two. Anyway, happy Sunday, oh you sexy so <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh my god, Corey! Corey, what are you doing? What the fuck?
fuck is all this? Odds. That is all. My name's Corey, and this is my first plate at an all you can eat buffet. I'm Corey, this is my ninth and final oh. plate. My name's Becky, and this is my first plate of the night. Hey everyone, this is my last plate. So I had three, four plates, but one of them was. Damn, four plates on Becky? I get it, it's a buffet. And you're gonna get as much food out of that buffet as possible. I do understand, but my lord, Becky been going crazy, bro. Corey with the nine plates? How'd you even do something like that? Did they not get concerned when they saw these people walk in and they saw that these people had the ability to munch? Too spicy for me, so someone else had it because I couldn't handle the spice. she look like this here, man? So I have got dessert now, and this is my last one. It's because you don't have the filter on here, right? Yeah, if you guys don't know, Becky uses a lot of filter action on her videos, so it's obvious that this isn't the filtered video that she has. I'm Ryan, and this is my first play. It's my that dude's gay, right? He's gay. He's gay. He's got to be gay. I'm gonna bet for my sack now. I'm Ryan, and this is my bet play. <laughs> my name's Mia, and this is my first play at an all-inclusive. My name's Leah, and this is my last play. I'm oh. crap, and this is my fourth. My name's Charlianne and this is my first play in all the Jesus, man. Where am I? All you sleep my face. I'm Charlianne and this is my seventh play. Why do you guys all gotta get dessert? You didn't need to get that shit. I'm not even gonna play with you. Most of these desserts, I shit you not, will be more calories than the last like two or three plates combined. I'm not even joking. Some of these cakes will literally run you a thousand calories per per slice easily bro i'm not even joking either they they really and i i don't even doubt i literally saw Corey dipping his his whole entire plate in the in the fondue chocolate so given that these people don't care about themselves but like dude you're literally slopping down thousands of calories on these end boards here i'm kane and this is my first play last he's gay right he's gotta be gay I'm playing. I don't have my plate on me, but I had four. Dang. I'm Emily, and this is my first plate. I've had three plates, and this is my last. I'm Chris. <laughs> this guy's straight. This guy seems like he's straight. You could tell he doesn't. He looks like he doesn't take care of himself. And this is my first plate. I'm Chris. And this is my fourth plate. Damn. I'm Jess. And this is my first plate. I'm Jess. I had two plates. That's surprising. I'm Kate, and this is my first plate. <laughs> My name's Kate, and this is my last plate. Just some, just some fruit. Two, That's okay. I'm Emma, and this is my first plate. I'm Emma, and this is my third plate. Today we're making Becky Jones lose her virginity. Oh, oh yeah, Corey? Oh yeah? Alright, I mean, that's how we doing it now, huh? Alright, Corey, I see how it is, bro. I didn't know Leah was down with the sickness like that. I didn't know it was like that, dude. Losing, can you imagine losing your virginity at a wing stop, bro? Man, that's got that's diabolical, bro. Man, dude, that's crazy. I am a virgin in the butthole, personally. Um, if I was to ever conceive of something in my butt cheeks, it would have to be for a large denomination of money, or you have to be really into you, bro. I have to really and I have to contemplate that for a long time, but I, I probably wouldn't do it. But um. Losing your virginity at a wing stop is crazy. Becky has always given me virgin vibes, personally, dude. She does seem like a major virgin, but I didn't know that Corey was down with that, bro. That's crazy. This is my third play. Today, we're making Becky Jones lose her virginity at wing stop. I can't believe... Okay, at wing stop. Okay, never mind. Okay, my bad. She's never been here before. And as we're in Manchester, there was no other place we were taking her. If you haven't been to wing stop before, and it's about time you grew up and went, it's unreal. Ooh. I feel like wing stop's underrated by myself until today. And now I'm a full flag. Fan. They do all different flavors here, from barbecue to cheese, all the way to. Damn, Becky looking super tan, dude. She got to worry about when she when she taking bites of these chicken. Damn, bro, that's all for Becky. God damn, that's a lot, bro. Becky really out here with one, two, three, four different servings of chicken. God damn extra spicy to the point where they give you gloves to eat i've played this safe today and gone for three chicken strips eight chicken bones without Damn. the bone and i had just parmesan cheese with two dips of ranch sauce and the sweet and salty fries this Oof. food is honestly unbelievable the chicken was so juicy and succulent leah had chicken bones with bones because she loves meat on the bone becky went for parmesan as well and charlie had lemon and herb the meals were 18 pound each charlie let off a big burp <laughs> Okay, bro. 
You know what? Great friends, bro. Great friends. <laughs> you can take the girl out of Barry, but you can't take Barry out the girl. And the 18 pounds includes unlimited drinks. 18 pounds for all that, dude? I know a dude that would literally take that unlimited drinks. I know a dude that you literally used to drink. If there was unlimited drinks, bro, before the food even got there, he was he already down four drinks. Not even joking either. Four drinks, and by the time he had left, easily 10 drinks. Easily 10 drinks gun. Because like, the way he thought about it was, if I'm paying however much money for this food is, right? I'm making that money back in the amount of soda that I'm drinking. So he would drink 10 drinks easily. 10 cups, 10, 10 large cups of drinks. Coke, because I'm a health king. It's all about the balance. And I'm so glad Becky loved it. We're still in Manchester for the next few days. So if you want to see what else we get up to, make sure you drop a follow. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd appreciate for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I appreciate tremendously because it helped me grow. So I appreciate if you could do any of that stuff for me, including liking, like I said. But anyway, guys, uh, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in Wings because apparently Wingstop is the best stop. I had not known. I've never been to a Wingstop before in my life. So I don't know. Uh, maybe I have actually. I don't know. Maybe when I was a kid, I might have had it, but I don't remember. So it might be really good, but I'm not really sure. You can let me know down below. But type in Wings and then I will commend you on being such an amazing, beautiful, delicate person. Um, anyway. Uh, you're a beautiful specimen. I love the way that you take care of yourself. I love the way that you recap the bottle after you take a sip. You put the cap back on. I don't do that personally because I like to live on the edge. Literally, I'm always edging. Um, but anyway, guys, if you want to check out my social medias, it will be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. 